looks of it, her seed time is four hundredths of a second slower than the top two seeds. Three hundredths. Math sometimes is difficult. The one thing you can see on the screen, we don't talk about it enough, and we'll talk about it a little bit tomorrow, and we thank our crew, but we have some unbelievable event staff at the meet. They work hard, make the meet really go smoothly, and then our camera operators really make their money on the distance events when we need to follow the leader in a field of 30 or 40 people. I'm expecting Harris to get the same start as Gale and make the, the stagger up on New Mexico just as quickly <laughs> as the last race. Well, she's run four and a half seconds faster than the people outside her, so you would expect that. Ag again, as we've mentioned many times, with the eight fastest people going to the finals, <laughs> Everybody has to get out and run. And, th and there it is. I feel like Tony Romo predicting offensive plays here. But she's made up the stagger on the, the top, the two women on the outside in the first 150 meters. That is Jalen Harris from San Diego State. And Sydney Bentley from San Jose State. <laughs> and Jalen Harris overtakes Bentley from San Jose State. She. And here's Jalen Harris from San Diego State. Your winner of Heat 3 followed Bentley, Owens, Bendel, and Watson. 